You ever find yourself emotionally paralyzed, overwhelmed, just feeling like a deer caught in the headlights when a spiritually abusive flashback or trigger occurs? Do you ever wonder how you can cope with these moments so you can feel reconnected to your body and feel functional again? My name is Dr. Felucia, and I'm a licensed psychologist and owner of Skillset Counseling, where I focus on the treatment of OCD, spiritual abuse, and cultural abuse. Today's video is going to be within the domain of spiritual abuse, and I'm going to be basically answering the question, how do you cope with triggering moments of spiritual abuse? Today's video is going to be pre pretty brief, so I'm going to give you um, a few tips that I have found that have worked for myself as well as other people that I have um, helped through the spiritual abusive journeys, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is that when you feel triggered by anything related to spiritual abuse, and while I'm asking you this question, I want you to um, just think about it. What are some things that trigger you? Maybe it could be um, a particular word or a phrase or the way somebody asks a question. Whatever that trigger is, think about it. Better yet, think about the last moment or the last instance where you were triggered by spiritual abuse. And um, what I want you to do is when that happens, again, I, I want you to, to, um, to just relax, right? And the way you relax is by taking um, a calming, cleansing breath. A lot of times when we are anxious or emotionally overwhelmed, we breathe incorrectly. So if I tell you to take a deep breath right now, uh, most people would go <gasps> and breathe in, but I want you to do something different. I want you to take your hand and I want you to put it on your abdomen. And when you inhale, I want you to imagine inflating a balloon like this and your belly is going to come out and I want you to hold it for a little bit and then exhale through your nose. I want you to try it again. Okay. Put your hand on your abdomen and take a deep breath. Let your abdomen fill with air and then slowly exhale. And so when you're in the moment, even something like taking a calming breath can reset your um, your um, autonomic nervous system and just help you feel balanced, calm. It's basically just kind of putting the reset button on your nervous system so you can reorient and you're not caught in that fight or flight um, you know, way of doing things. So I want you to do that. And, um, and even thinking now, or even if you're in that situation, again, just take a deep breath, okay? The second thing I want you to do is to pause, right? And pausing is another way of resetting everything. A lot of times when we're uh, triggered by something, we um, react instead of responding. For some of us, it may mean speaking too much, uh, maybe agreeing to something we don't mean to agree to, or just shutting down and not saying anything at all. What I want you to do is something in the middle. I just want you to pause, right? And um, and just observe what's going on, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Now, this may seem the way I'm describing it, that it will take a very long time, but this is actually just a few seconds. So just pause, give yourself a moment, right? Don't say anything just yet. And then the third thing I want you to do is to recognize your autonomy, your independence in that situation, specifically by seeing how the situation you are in now is different from the spiritually abusive situation you were in before. So maybe you feel triggered because you feel like you can't leave, you know, you can't speak up for yourself or something like that, you know, whatever it is that you're having challenges with, I want you to take a deep breath. And I want you to think, how is this situation different? And I want you to specifically remember your agency, your independence, and your power of choice, okay? So that can look like different things. For instance, you might say, um, I need to get back to you about that request, or you may simply just choose to smile and walk away. Okay, so I hope those um, tips help. I'm going to go over them really quickly again. The first thing is to physically relax by taking a deep, calming breath, right? In, inflate your, um, when you inhale, inflate your stomach like a balloon, okay? The second thing I want you to do is to remember to pause. Pause your speech. Don't clam up, but don't talk incessantly either, okay? Now, the third thing I want you to do is to recognize your independence. Recognize whatever it is that's different about this situation and the power you have now versus the power that you have before. Even if you may not feel it, understand what you can do with your new knowledge, whether it's walking away, 
pausing the conversation, smiling, or just doing what you need to do in that moment to feel connected and safe. Okay. I hope this information is helpful for you. Like I said, this is going to be a brief video. Um, and if you, and I would love for all of you in the comments to share um, what you, what has helped you. Um, I really love to build a community here where people can share things that have helped um, themselves that the other people can benefit. Okay. So share what has helped you in the comment section. And if you would like to get more information about how to recover from your spiritually abusive experiences, go to my website, skillsetcounseling.com and click on the orange button where you can book a free consultation. May you have a joyful day that is filled with peace. Bye-bye.